our weather team is in place right now. We are tracking this from all angles for you. We've got Ashley who's tracking that system that's moved out. She's letting us know there's still some remnants across our map. We'll talk to her in a moment, but before we get there, let's just get right to it. Ren Wasworth is live with the damage. Uh, Ren, it's pretty significant. Bradley, that's absolutely right. As you were just saying, the damage is pretty significant. If we go ahead and take a look behind me right here, we see a home that has been split by, again, one of those trees that was completely uprooted by that severe wind. I'll move a little bit out of the way again, but you can just see it went straight through the home, completely devastating that home. Again, just extensive damage across especially the Billings Height areas, but we know that other areas in Billings are seeing similar damage. We're seeing it in Lockwood. We're seeing it in the West End. We're seeing it a little bit on the South side, but the Heights definitely got hit the hardest. If we take a look yesterday to some of the video we had from the storm when it first happened, you can see that those winds were just whipping around. The hail was Again, you guys mentioned it earlier, golf ball size or even a little bit bigger. And that was just whipping through the entire area. It happened quickly and then it was over quickly as well. It only took about 45 minutes in total to do the extensive damage. Now, when we're moving back towards today, we saw neighbors coming out, getting those branches out of the way, getting the debris out of the street. So many of our main roadways are pretty clear looking at the day after the storm. However, when you're traveling, keep an eye out for any debris you may see, especially as you're traveling on those side roads and traveling in neighborhood areas, because that's where a lot of the damage has not been picked up yet. And if while you're traveling, you see some debris or some extensive damage, Billings Police Department is asking people to call that in so that they can start working on getting that out. We've been in contact with the city of Billings and we're trying to figure out if there's a good place for people to be sending that debris to, but we do know that the Billings dump is expecting to get a lot of that coming back in to them today. So again, just while you're traveling, make sure you're keeping an eye out, taking it slow so that you can make sure that everything around you is safe for you. We'll continue to keep an update on the aftermath and the cleanup for you. But for now, I'm Ren Wadsworth reporting live back to you, Bradley. All right, Ren, thank you. Just real quickly, for many people who are just waking up right now, they're getting ready to head to work. Uh, your commute in, how did it look today? For my commute in, again, it was early in the morning, so I wasn't seeing a lot of debris on those main roadways on Lake Elmo Drive, on Main Street. On Lake Elmo is where we saw those down power lines, but again, it just speaks to the resilience of this community. Every time a storm like this happens, we see neighbors and people coming out of their way to get these things cleaned up and cleaned up quickly. So again, we're seeing most of the major damages centered to side streets, to neighborhood areas. So. My commute was pretty, pretty clear until I was getting into these smaller areas. All right, Ren Wasworth joining us live this morning. Ren, thank you.